Hello again, my name's John and welcome to my latest video. This time I'll share with you how I make my own vanilla extract. It works out a lot cheaper and a much better quality than the commercially produced extract, plus you know exactly what's in it. Ok, this recipe will make 500ml or 1 pint of top quality extract. I'll start by halving and splitting approximately 10 vanilla beans, which is about 30 grams. You can adjust these measurements to suit yourself. By splitting the pods down the middle and exposing the small seeds makes the infusion process quicker, because you're increasing the surface area of the bean. You can scrape out these tiny little seeds if you wish, but I just leave them in. A quick word about cost for those who think it will be more expensive to make your own. Obviously I won't mention specific brand names, but some of the top brands for top quality extract will charge on average £12 per 100 mils, and at the current exchange rate that's $16 for only 100 mils of vanilla extract, and that's only 35% alcohol and 65% water. My 500 mils at 100% alcohol only cost £16 or $20 for the vodka and the vanilla beans. So you only pay a quarter of the price for a much better quality extract. The price you do have to pay is the waiting time. You can use it after 3 months but I recommend 6 months to a year and beyond. It's up to you but it does get much better with age. So, the sooner you make it, the sooner you can use it. Right, that's all the vanilla beans prepared. Now you'll need a glass bottle to keep the extract in. It's best to use a stained glass bottle for this, as it's recommended to keep this extract in a dark environment. I just use old medicine bottles that have been thoroughly cleaned and sterilised and the labels removed. You'll need to label the bottle so you know when the extract was made. Right, put all the beans into the bottle and add 500 mils, that's approximately one pint of vodka. I use the cheapest vodka I can find. If you're feeling really extravagant, you can use brandy, but I think vodka has a more neutral taste. I was a little short of vodka for my bottle but I'll be topping it up when I show you something else to make into an extract near the end of the video. Now you need to store this in a cool dark place for at least three months before using it. Give the bottle a quick shake every couple of days or so, but the longer you can leave it the better it'll get. Here's one I made two years earlier. I'll pour a little into a glass so you can see its rich colour and hopefully you can see that it's thickened up a little, almost like a thin syrup. I've used a lot of brands in the past but after making my own I would never go back to buying it. Mine has a better flavour, goes a lot further simply because it's much stronger so you don't need as much and as I mentioned earlier is a lot cheaper so why wouldn't you? Before I retired from my catering business in 2015 I would make up a 500ml bottle every year. I still make it because they make great Christmas presents. The only downside is the initial waiting time for the first bottle to mature. Once your first bottle is ready to use that's the time to make up your second bottle and so on so you'll always have a bottle ready to use. I had a little vodka left after topping up my vanilla bottle, so I'll show you how I make my orange and lemon extract. Start by peeling some of the zest off a lemon and an orange. You don't need much, but try not to get too much of the bitter white pith. It's more difficult avoiding the pith on the orange, but do your best.
OK, once the orange and lemon are peeled, do exactly the same as the vanilla. Put the peel into a bottle and top it up with the vodka. Label the bottle and let it mature. And just like the vanilla, the longer you leave it, the better it will become. Here's another I did a couple of years ago and like the caption says as soon as you take the cap off the bottle you get a wonderful scent of orange and lemon. It really is quite powerful. You can use this in cakes and cookies and in certain savoury dishes. It's brilliant for flavouring rice. My wife once described the smell of this orange and lemon as Christmas in a bottle. Well there you are, that's how I make my extracts. Hope you give it a go, but you must be patient with it. Don't attempt to use it too soon. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, comment and share, and maybe subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more of my videos, please click on the links above. Thanks again for watching, and bye for now.